We start with the first dialog box that pops up when opening RFEM and that is new model and general data. For our project, we enter the model name test model and the name building. The model type defines the input and plane in which we work, 2DXY, for example, stands for pure plates subjected to bending, the other 2D model types represent walls or panes subjected to tension and compression. Since we are modeling a 3D building, we click 3D. The positive direction of the Z-axis is a matter of taste. We choose Z-axis down. When classifying load cases and combinations, we select the without standard. When you select the automatically generate combinations checkbox, RFEM automatically creates the load combinations according to the selected standard and does not have to be entered manually. We do not need a model template for this course. In the Options tab, we could also define other design settings, such as for example, the CQC rule if we should also analyze our model for earthquakes or enable a CAD and BIM model to import IFC files. We can also define the gravitational acceleration exactly, but we'll skip it all for now. To create a new project, we click the Project Manager button in the Basic tab. In the new window, we see our existing projects in the Project Navigator and their included models with basic data and preview. We click the New Project button. And in the new window, we enter the name, Online Course, and the name, RFEM5 for beginners. We can place the new project anywhere, for example in an existing project, but in our case, we create a new one. Finally, we can select the storage location for our project or simply leave it as default. And already, our online course appears in the Project Navigator. After closing the Project Manager window, you can see the newly created project. Of course, you can also skip the project manager completely by clicking the Create New Project button. We click OK and we can start right away.